So in this video, we will find the resultant of parallel forces by using graphical method. Okay. Uh, here the problem problem number two. In the problem one, I solved in the previous video. In there, the there are also the parallel forces. You need to find the resultant force of those parallel forces. But they are the like forces. In problem one, they are the like forces. Once again, I'll repeat what is like forces and what are unlike forces here. The like parallel forces, if the lines of actions are parallel to each other, lines of actions are parallel to each other, but the directions also same, either upside direction or either downside direction. Uh, they are called the like forces. Okay. Whereas in in case of unlike parallel unlike parallel forces, the lines of actions are same or parallel to each other. Lines of, here, if you see that there are three parallel forces. Their lines of actions are parallel to each other, but their directions are different. The directions of are different. So they these are called unlike forces here. So in this problem, we are finding out the resultant of the three parallel unlike forces. Okay, unlike forces here. Now we'll read the problem first. Uh, find the resultant of parallel forces shown in figure. Shown in figure. Here there are three fo forces. First force is six newton. Second force is two newton, and third force is ten newton. Okay, the distance, the first force is the uh, the the direction is it is in downward direction. Second one is upward direction, and third one is in downward direction. Okay, these are the three forces. Again, he is given the distance between these forces here. Between first and two, there is twenty millimeter. Between second and third force, there is a thirty millimeter. Okay. Now you should find out the resultant, where it is, what is the magnitude of the resultant, and where it is located in the in these parallel forces here. Okay, by using graphical method. So we'll we'll start one by one, step by step here. The first step is first you should give the Bose notation here. Okay, Bose notation. Bose notation to the forces to the given forces. How we will give the notation for the given forces? For uh, <coughs> this is the six, first force, six newton. In between six newton, you should mark the two notations. That is the this is A and B. That is the six newton force is denoted by A B. Okay. Now come to the second force, two newton. Two newton force is denoted by B and C. Similarly, third force, ten newton. Uh, it is denoted by the notation as C and D. C and D. This is the Bose notation. Okay. This will be helpful while solving graphical method. Okay. So this one is called the whatever the given problem. You after no after notation you should start uh, you should start with one more diagram. Of, that is draw six newton. Six newton means it is no. Uh, there is no magnitude. You can you can get later the magnitude here. Draw the parallel line six newton, and second one two newton, uh, two newton, and third one is ten newton. But take the scale, take the scale in between these in in between these forces. It should be twenty millimeter, twenty millimeter and thirty millimeter. Put the scale twenty millimeter. Draw the second one again thirty meter. Go to thirty. Then the draw the ten newton. You can also take according to the scale also. Okay, convenient scale. Okay, this is called the space diagram. Space diagram. Okay. First step, draw the forces according to the dimension. Second step, give the Bose notation, A B C D like that. Okay. Now third step. You should start with vector diagram. The next one is vector diagram. Vector diagram. Okay. Now start with any convenient point O. This is start with convenient point. I started with A. A. <coughs> This is the graphical method. You should use the scale. Scale. Scale is very important. Uh, you should use the scale. Now come to the first force, six newton. Six newton. Take any convenient scale. 
convert 6 newton into millimeter or centimeter here okay here i am taking the scale if i want here the scale i am taking uh, 2 newton equal to 1 centimeter you can take according to your scale here okay whether you want big or small vector diagram now i am uh, here 2 newton equal to 1 centimeter now first force is 6 newton 6 newton it is 6 newton is how many centimeters 3 centimeters 3 centimeters start with point a take 3 centimeter take, take, take 3 centimeter draw a line parallel to force 6 newton first force exactly parallel to 6 uh, the first force so this is parallel here just i'm drawing this is 3 centimeter a and b i'm marking here okay and here this will be how many newtons here this one this is 6 newton 6 newton that will be equal to 3 centimeter according to my scale and how is the arrow mark here it is downward direction this will be in downward direction this will be downward direction now come to the second force 2 newton start with b point start with b point and convert this 2 newton into your scale uh, 2 newton is how many centimeters 1 centimeter here 2 newton is 1 centimeter start with b point draw draw a line of 1 centimeter parallel to second force 2 newton parallel to 2 newton force here okay but this is in upward direction this is in upward direction it means you should go b to the upward direction okay these two are the downward pulling and this will be upward it means you should start with b draw a line of one centimeter one centimeter it will be upside it will be up up and parallel to two newton parallel to two newton it means you are going here this is this is c point b and c this is going upside bc and it's and this dimension this dimension is 2 newton that will be equal to 1 centimeter 1 centimeter okay this one okay second one is finished now come to the third force third force where you need to start start from c point start from c point c point and what is the scale here 10 newton convert again the 10 newton is how many centimeters it is 5 centimeters 5 centimeters start from c draw a line 5 centimeter parallel to 10 newton parallel to 10 newton it means i'm draw i'm starting here this is d point okay this is d point just i'll mark here from here to here what is the distance here this is 10 newton 10 newton that will be equal to 5 centimeter 5 centimeter okay this just i'll i'll draw outside here from c from c to d this will be 10 newton that will be equal to 5 centimeter okay and this will be downward direction this will be downward direction okay first go down first force second again up start from b and go up that is c point again start from c third force it will be downward of 10 newton here 10 newton okay now after this step go for take any convenient point o here take any convenient point o join oa ob oc and od okay now i'm joining oa okay ob oc and od od okay now after after finishing this come to the space diagram space diagram start with first 
force 6 newton take any convenient point p take any convenient point p on the line of action of 6 newton 6 newton okay draw a line pm here m will come pm parallel to the first line here oa same oa you transfer here pm okay just i'm transferring this one here this is p this is m and this one will be oa this is oa okay next come to the next ob ob start with p point start with p point and draw a line parallel to ob parallel to ob and it will meets at second force at q at q here okay that is the second force is this is pq p q here okay and this is denoted by ob o b this is ob okay now next start with q point start with q point what is the next line here oc oc draw a line start with q draw a line parallel to oc parallel to oc which means in the 10 newton line on r okay now i started q and oc parallel to qr oc parallel to qr oc parallel to qr this is r and this will be oc okay now start with r point what is the last line remaining here od start with r draw a line parallel to od draw a line parallel to od i started with r and od this r and uh, m m okay this is the next step now come to the first first force in the first force the point p is there point p is there okay just extend point p here just extend point p like this now come to the last force 10 newton it will meets r it will meets at point r now extend this also this line okay where it meets that point you denote just k this mark it as k here now start with take k and magnitude magnitude is the magnitude of this force is ad ad how much you are getting that much you you should draw the resultant start start k and draw a line of magnitude ad ad this is resultant this is resultant okay and measure the point from k uh, 6 newton to k or how much distance is there after measuring after measuring you will get a distance this to this is it is 33 millimeter 33 millimeter it means the resultant force is located at a distance of 33 millimeter from first force 6 newton 6 newton and its magnitude is nothing but ad whatever the magnitude is there that is ad okay so finally i will write the result finally i will write the result the magnitude of r the magnitude of r is nothing but ad ad that will be equal to that will be equal to 14 newton 14 newton okay here only you will get if you want you can if you to remove the confusion 6 newton plus 10 newton these are 16 newton but 2 newton just make it up uh, the minus 6 plus 10 for 16 minus 2 it is 14 newton 14 newton okay now the 
this is the magnitude and b the line of action of k the line of action of k of k is k from 6 newton from 6 newton is it is 33 millimeter 33 millimeter okay this is how the result you will get here magnitude is 14 newton and the the location of the resultant r is it is at a distance of 33 millimeter from the first force 6 newton okay this is how you need to find out the resultant of the parallel unlike forces unlike forces okay